All right, guys, we're here at the Croy Dairy with a special guest, Ruben Love. He plays for the Hurricanes, plays a bit of rugby here and there. We're going to see what he's feeling and what he's not. With all the snacks around the dairy, he's going to take us through some of his stories on the best snacks that he's tried in New Zealand. Come with us. So, Ruben, I know something here has uh, caught your eye, so let us know what you think. Yeah, these things hold a special place in my heart. Shapes? Yeah. Why, did it help you for rugby or something? No, no, I didn't. Oh. Uh, I used to bring probably two packets a week to school, and I'd, I'd eat half on a Monday and then have the other half on a Tuesday. Oh, that'd, wow. That'd give me all the nutrients that I need to perform at lunchtime rugby. Lunchtime rugby, of course. So it's obviously different to, you know, on the weekend when you're playing against the Blues, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Do you think it's harder, like, you know, playing against... I guess lunchtime rugby, there's no there's no really rules, is there? So do you think it's a little bit harder against sort of... I think the underlying unspoken about rules are the same. Who can make the biggest hit? Yeah. Who can make the biggest, get the biggest cheers from the teachers? So would you say that like playing against, you know, I don't know, Bowden Barrett versus playing against one of your bros at lunchtime, which would you say is harder? I don't know. Some of my bros back in the day had a lot of talent. Yeah. Um... But I'll have to go. That's harder playing against Bowden Barrett, for sure. Okay, Bowden Barrett still got it. All right, <laughs> let's move on. So obviously, as an athlete, you're going to have a strict diet, right? Um, so these, you know, I've heard some stories about you and farm-baked chocolate chip cookies. Like, tell us about that. Playing cricket, growing up, um, didn't really care about what I ate. Wasn't a rugby athlete, so... One of these would, I'll just take them in my cricket bag for the whole day and just munch those back. That's yeah. all you need today? Yeah. And you score hundreds and hundreds, would you say? I'd eat hundreds and hundreds when I score them. Okay, I see. I see. And obviously, I think you mentioned as well that, you know, you ate a lot of meat mm. and you still do, you know, to keep yourself going. So what does that really consist of? What type of, you know, diet is that? Yeah, so about three, three of these a day keeps the doctors away. That's what they say in the hurricanes. So. Oh, the pies. Three pies a day. So that's mm. what athletes eat is, is pies. Yeah, especially Xavier and Emir, So I see. Yeah. Xavier, keep eating those pies, Kazi. <laughs> so, look, obviously as an athlete, you know, you, you have to strict diet. But before that, like we said, what type of drink would you go to at the dairy? You know, going in there, $2, what are you picking up? Yeah, $2, finding it down the side of the couch. I'd come to the dairy and probably grab one of these. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, look how that landed. So, Coke, why is that? Uh, it's got a 0 0.5 health star rating. That's good but, for the body? Yeah, after drinking that, you feel like you're five stars, yeah. Exactly, like Coke, you know? The fizziness. So, what do you think? Opening that can and getting that first sip, what does it sort of give you? Does it remind you of anything? Is, it, is there any better yelling than that? No, nah, it's definitely definitely better than scoring a try, that's for sure. That's for sure, mate. You know, Westpac Stadium, Pac Westpac Stadium, or Sky Stadium, it's... A sip of that. 100%. Can't beat it. Can't beat it, bro. So, yeah. you know, you, you used to have this before being an athlete. But now, I assume you have something like this, you know. So you must sort of... I've seen this around athletes all the time. Me, personally, being an amateur athlete myself, I'd take a couple of these before I, you know, hit the football field. And I tell you what, I'm running like a dog, bro. You know, I think I've scored maybe two goals in my career over the last 10 years, and this has been the go-to. So what about you? I'm assuming this gets you going. No, uh, drug-free sport, don't don't test me. Oh, really? You no can't way. have it? No way. <laughs> so you're not allowed... Have you ever tried? You've never tried? Never tried. Never will? No, maybe off camera. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, just these. Just these. Oh. After a big, big day of training, um, our nutritionists, and then we have a few of these ready for us to drink, so... Yeah. Sort of like, do you know Sam Selleck? Have no. you heard of him before? So Sam Selleck's a massive YouTuber and um, he always talks about chocolate milk and, and getting a body like that. <laughs> so um, I think this is the way to go. So the kids out there watching, what would you say to them? Stay off the C4, pick up the chocolate milk. 100%. Keep drinking this. Meadow Fresh. Are you much of a you know egg guy? Have you heard of um, Eddie Abu at all? Have you seen him before? No. Now Eddie Abu says that eggs are the only source of protein, one of the only source of protein that you should be having. Really? Um, do you get into the eggs much? Yeah, I cook them. I can't say that I consume them. So you cook them, but you don't consume them? No. Why is that? 
you've made it so far in your career right now. You're playing for the Hurricanes, which is a dream of yours since you were a young kid. And, and the next step, I assume, is the All Blacks. Yeah. So for you, you've been an avid supporter of the Corey Derry for many years now. And I tell you what, how it helped you, would you say that this fruit section here had anything to do with helping you get to that next level? It's, it's changed my life. This addition of the fruit, the four bananas and two avocados. Uh, I never took my nutrition seriously. And now coming to the Corey Dairy, I still don't. Um, but just seeing them there while I buy my pies, it's, it's, it's just truly comforting. So looking at those things has sort of driven you to say, right, I'm gonna have that mince and cheese pie, but I know that the avocado and bananas are there and I know I could have it, but still I will use that as fuel and use that as a vision to see where my next steps are, don't you think? Yeah, well, the avocado is the same color as the mince and the pie, so it just kind of gives me that feeling that I've earned it. Yeah, and you definitely have. Look, All Blacks is coming up next for you, and I know it will, so nice. maybe you will, you know, try an avocado, and I think that probably will get you to the next level, don't you think? Yeah, maybe. 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 Growing up, as we say, you had your drinks, you had your food, and, and you talked a lot. What about this, orange juice? Now, how effective is that? Immensely. I, I grew up with bright, beachy, blonde hair and got to the age of about seven or eight and just drank too much orange juice and just changed the colour of my hair and was, so I've never been able to reverse it. You've talked about your snacks, the drinks that you grew up on and, and all that. You know, we'd love to know about the amenities that you can't live without. So we've got a great section here. So what do you think is the best thing that you can't live without? For me, I can't go a day without Lynx Africa. It's right. been my Christmas present the last six, seven years. Yeah, um, of course. Yes, yeah, my essential, really. I was wondering, you, you definitely smelled unreal when you oh, came in here, and thanks. I swear the girls were following you as well. <laughs> what else can't you live without there, mate? Is there anything else? Um, yeah, it'll be my toothpaste. Uh, back at the Hurricanes, uh, one of my good mates took to see if he needs a packet of these, so, <laughs> or 10. Oh, that's um, calling him out just on the camera. Yeah, I love it. You might need, a, might need it as well, bro. So. Cuz you can't come onto my show and you call me out. So we're just doing a little thing here. So I'm you, trying. No, I'm, I'm trying. I, 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 okay, so we'll just, we'll talk about that off camera, but just next time. We, we don't. Right, Ruben, we've done all the browsing, all the talking. You've checked out what you want and what you don't want. Now's the fun part. You get to go around and choose whatever you want. Oh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, yeah, I'll grab a couple of these just for the memories. Beth lunchtime rugby. Date night essentials as well. Can you go better? <laughs> Grab this um, for a gym session, 100%. Grab some bread because I'm not getting enough. Okay. Love me my carpety ice cream. It's my go-to uh, treat after a game. Uh, I have the caramel and almond, so this as well. How you doing today? Is that Good. all? Uh, yes, please. That'll be... What? Do you guys not do discounts or something? For what? Come on, mate. It's still the same price. <laughs> Just pay it, come on. Fine. Bro, I think I have my card on me. Are you serious? Yeah, do you guys yeah. do, do, do after pay? Invoice. Invoice? Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Take it. Oh, uh. Make sure you give that to Lucas as well. Yeah, he needs one now. Yeah. All right. You have a good one. Thanks, bro. Cheers, bro. See ya. 